hi everybody in this lecture we going to learn about image formation if you can recall in the previous chapter we learned about how we how light behave how it can be reflected on a surface right? all right as well as can be refracted within different medium when it's passed through a different medium all right and in this chapter basically we're going to use this or basically going to study in detail right the the interpretation of these two phenomena when we discuss about the wave or the light behavior when it pass through mirror for example flat mirror and later we're going to have a convex and concave mirror and as well as how it behaves when passed through different type of lens as for example that you can see here right first of all let's have a look at the notation that we're going to use for mirrors and lenses right so in normal case we're going to have mirror or any optical component right and then then we're going to have the position of the object right where the object is located all right and the distance between the object all right let's see this is object o and so the distance is denoted by p all right and the reflectance right later on the image will be formed at a certain distance right and the distance between the, the the mirror and the image itself that is denoted by q right and when we going to analysis the magnification all right for lens or and as well as mirror all right so go, we're going to we're going to use rotation m all right so that is the magnification all right yeah all right so first how we can form the image from the existing object all right so we can form the image by locating or, or located the extending diverging rays back to a point at which they intersect all right so the key point here will be extending the diverging rays at point that intersect right so extending where the intersect all right so therefore image then can be located either at a point from which the rays of like actually diverge or they appear to diverge right the key point here is diverge either they are actually diverge or appear to diverge right and from the image we can divide into two different parts either it could be a real image real image is formed when light rays pass through and diverge from the image point All right we will see the example later but the point here is it is formed when light ray pass through and diverge from image point right and this real image can be displayed on screen now let's have a look at the 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 other type of image which is virtual image it is formed when light do not pass through the image right do not pass through the image but only appear to diverge from that point right it's appear to diverge from that point and therefore virtual image cannot be displayed on screen that is the properties of a virtual image 
now let's have a look at the example here image that is formed from a flat mirror right and if we have a flat mirror that is the the simplest form of mirror where we have a flat surface of glass for example and it is reflecting right just like the mirror that you use every day right. and let's see if the object is located here all right so the distance between the object as well as the mirror is given by this p and it will form somewhere the image all right we could be let's say that we don't know yet right so if we have the observer here right observing the image form behind the mirror right so we can do the analysis that if the light leaving the object here all right let's say we have three different rays that leaving the object and then it will this ray the first ray will be reflected at this point and then the other ray will be reflected at this point according to law of reflection and the third ray will be reflected here those three rays will be reflected and propagate directly toward the observer here and what the observer see is the the object oh sorry the image you can locate by extending this right the ray that that the observer is seeing this ray as well if we extending behind the mirror this one as well extending behind the mirror right we will find out that there are actually appear to diverge all right it's appear to diverge from this point they are intersects and appear to diverge from this point that is the location of the image i all right and since that is the location of the image the distance between the image and the mirror that is the value of q all right and since it is appear to diverge from one point or is not actually intersect so that is that makes the image is virtual right so uh, the image that you see every day from a flat mirror that is basically a virtual image not an not a real image right uh, again flat mirror always produce a virtual image right we can use geometry to determine the properties of the image right there are infinite number of choices of direction which light rays could leave each point to the object right in the example we use three actually two ray is enough to determine the location of the object sorry the location of the image from a given object all right so as mentioned here two rays are needed all right minimum is two rays no need to have more but the choice is infinite all right for another example we have objects with height h right, at position p so the distance is p small p and then if we take a look at the first ray where it leave the object going parallel with the optical axis and then that ray will be reflected back all right and the other one is going to the center of the mirror here and according to law of reflection it will be reflected at the same angle all right and if we extending the two rays right this one is going this way but if we extending the virtual part right as well as this ray extending 
in the virtual path they will appear to intersect or they appear as they are diverging from this point and this point p prime is basically the position of the image where the distance is given by q and the image the height of the image is given by h prime all right All right, as you can see here, the position of P is equal to position of Q, which is which means that position of the image is equal to the position of the object. All right, that is the the characteristic of image form for flat mirror. All right, and in terms of lateral magnification M. Right, this M is defined as the image height, or the outcome of the intersection of the image. Right, that is H prime divided by the original object height, which is H. All right, for flat mirror, they are actually the same value. All right, so therefore we're going to have a value of one. M is equal to one for any type of flat mirror. All right, and this equation can be used for other type of mirror and lenses as well. But the M value will be either greater or lower than one. All right, but for flat mirror, it's always equal to one All right and another properties of the image that is formed by a flat mirror it will produce image that has apparent left or right reversal All right so the image that you always see as a backward or a mirror image that is called left right reversal right it is not it is not uh what do you call that it, it is not actually left right reversal right it's only apparent as left right reversal all right so the the actual term for this type of reversal is actually front back reversal all right and why is that because light rays that is going forward toward the mirror it will be reflecting the back from it right as you can see from this image the the image here right uh, what you see the image here is the front side of the hand right but the image the object that you see from here is actually the front so it is actually a front back reversal not left right reversal that is the correct term right front back reversal right and let's have a look at the properties of another properties of or basically the conclusion for the properties of image formed by flat mirror all right so for flat mirror again special kind of mirror the object is always the same as the image right the distance of the object is the same as the image the value of m is equal to one it is therefore unmagnified all right so the height is the same for object and image the image is always virtual it is appear to diverge from a point it is not actually diverge all right and the image is always upright it is not reversed or it is not it is not uh, the other way around right and it has the same therefore it has the same orientation of the object right and again the last part that we, we discussed just now it is a front back reversal in the image or as we known as mirror image right
all right that's all for the discussion about image from mirror flat mirror right, you can have a look at or take a look at the example how we can produce a levitating person by using a mirror trick all right and how the application of the night day and night setting on auto mirror right if you can check your uh, the car right the reflecting mirror on top of the car right there there is setting daytime setting as well as nighttime setting and it using the properties of mirror right not to 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 affect the driver if there is a high or headlamp being given by the driver at the back 